G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this workshop where we're going to take a deep dive into the new Microsoft Teams channel experience that is rolling out to your environment as we speak. Now, there are four key areas that we're going to take a look at today. The enhanced compose box and recent posts, a more conversation focused posting experience, and a new streamlined information pane plus also the addition of pinning posts and how they get represented and made available to you. And the last is going to having a, be uh, having a look at the simplified badging experience as well. So let's dive in and have a look. Now you can see that I am logged into Teams as Alex. At the first thing that we do notice is that we've got a new ordering feature here. So you can see that the latest post appears on top so we don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom of the channel. It's now represented at the top of the screen. We can see we've got a new enhanced compose box here. Nice big subject line and the body of our post, pretty similar to composing an email now, uh, is in the middle of the screen. We've got our actions down the bottom here and then we can add our apps if we want to add an additional app to uh, to this conversation as well. Over on the right hand side, we've got the ability to change our post type from post to announcement. And then in the top right hand corner, we've also got our settings. So who can reply? Do we want everybody to reply or only uh, the person that's posting and moderators as well? We can also post into multiple channels. So if we want to then distribute this message across different teams, for example, we want, might want to post this same thing, let's say in the US uh, sales general channel. So we can update that and this post will then get pushed out to those two channels. All right. Now, on the right hand side, we've got our uh, information pane. So, our new enhanced streamlined information pane. Now, you can see that we've got, we can see who the people are that are part of our channel. Uh, we can see uh, the description. We've got our options and we've got our updates to this channel. Now, what about when we pin a message? So, under the uncovering uh, or behind these three little dots here, remembering whenever we see these across the platform, there's always a contextual menu behind it. One of these options is to be able to pin a post to make it easily accessible to everybody visiting this channel. So when we hit pin, you'll notice that that appears on the right hand side there uh, under the pin section. Now we can pin multiple different posts here. So if I pin this one here from Nesta, you can see that we also get that uh, pinned message under the pin section on the right hand side. We can collapse and expand this if we want to as well. So you can see top right hand corner, we've got our little icon here to expand and collapse. Now, what about our simplified badging? So when we get noted, when we get notified or the channel gets notified or I make a post, then we do have a new or simplified badging experience. So we can see here, on the green, we know, we can notice that that has been pinned on the left-hand side, but also a little icon on the right-hand side. Purple on the left next to Alex's name. I'm logged in as Alex. So this little purple line here notes that this is a post from that person. Now you can also scroll down the bottom here and we can see that we've got our uh, regular badge on the left-hand side. We've got a little line here as well. So a new simplified badging experience that we've got at our, um, at our disposal there as well. Now I'll also note here uh, and I'll bring in another new feature uh, and when we're adding channels is the new notes experience inside of Microsoft Teams. Uh, so what we can hear, what we can do here is when a new channel is created, then what happens now is that we do get a new notes tab. Now, uh, traditionally we would have had, that was being provided by the wiki tab, but now uh, what's rolling out is a new notes experience and that is powered by OneNote. So that tab has now appeared in the top um, of next to files and you'll see that we now have a new OneNote powered notes experience. So that's gonna take just a couple of seconds to spin our notebook up. Now every single channel that has a notes tab has a uh, section in that OneNote notebook. So when we create a team, we obviously create a SharePoint site or a Microsoft 365 group associated to that group is a OneNote notebook. That is what is powering this new notes tab. So every single channel uh, that gets created has a section in that notebook specifically for that channel.
All right, so a few enhancements, the new channels experience that is rolling out to Microsoft Teams now does deliver a more streamlined way for you and your team to improve the way that you do communicate, collaborate, and navigate your way around your channels. So thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.